Hey guys, welcome to Tita's Red Desk, my channel about journaling, arts and crafts, watercoloring, and the things that I enjoy in life. There are too many to list, but most likely the videos will be related to those things. Uh, unboxing, reviewing, trying, swatching, etc. And uh, I appreciate your time, sharing this time. Time is valuable and being in this video i really appreciate that if you like what i do please subscribe and turn on your notifications you will be notified every time i post a video which is once a week or more frequent uh smile it's good for you it's even good for your health and it's good for others you can change someone's day by just smiling be good to yourself and thank god he's great today i'm going to talk about a palette from holbein Holbein is one of my favorite watercolor paints that I have tried so far um, in this beginning journey into watercoloring. And my second favorite brand is uh, Schmincke. I only have a small palette by Schmincke because if you are into watercolor, I'm sorry about the noise in the background, that's my puppy chewing into a bone. Um, so if you, um, if you know watercolors, you know that Schmincke are pretty pricey. So I am holding on to that 48 colors palette, which is um, the palette I want to get uh, soon. And I was watching this whole buying palette because I have smaller palettes by them uh, with 8 and 12 colors. And I enjoy them so much that I said to myself, when I get the biggest one, an affordable price I'm going to get it so that was the case um, I was able to get this whole buying 36 watercolor set uh, for a really good price on Amazon and I'm about to share this with you um, if you're a beginner like myself um, Honestly, I am the in the early stages of watercoloring uh, just like a few months Two, three months so and I don't have the time that I would like to dedicate to it I am a mom and I am a full-time um, employee so it's not I don't have that much time to dedicate to watercolor as much as I would like to at least so it's a it's a process and it's a slow process um, but what I will recommend what I want to say this is um, when you're a beginner I know that you say, I'm just starting, I'm learning, I don't know about this too much. I'm just going to buy the cheap paper and the cheap watercolor uh, school paint. I will tell you, don't do it. Don't, don't do it because if it's something that you're looking to turn into your hobby or into something more serious in the future, um, using cheap materials will discourage you and most likely you will stop which is that what almost happened to me until I started seeing videos and seeing what other people were getting uh, with using better materials and that's how I got to Hobines and that's how I got to Schminka and that's how I got to Arches papers and that's how I got to Skoda brushes and that's how I got to wanting um, What's it called? Maestro? Oh, it's called Raphael. Raphael brushes, that is something that I want to get in the future. Not yet, because of the same thing as Schmincke. It's a little bit pricey. Uh, so I'm holding on uh, for that for, maybe it's going to be my Christmas gift to myself. Pretty, pretty sure that's going to be the gift I'm gonna give to myself. But anyways, um, I was able to get this one, which is, from what I understand, the biggest they have, the 36 colors, in the half pan version. If you buy, if you buy the paint tubes, I believe they have bigger sets, more than 36. I think they have over 70, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not gonna say the amount, but it's, they have more colors than 36, just not in the half pans, as is my understanding. I might be, I might be mistaken. So, um what i get the difference that i get from holbein compared to um winston newton uh, student quality cutman uh, paints is the intensity uh, of the colors 
uh, these colors, the Schminka, the Holbein, are artist, uh, artist grade colors. So obviously you're gonna get more pigment, more vibrancy, um, and I I feel that it's easier to work with them. Uh, you get the results that you expect. You it encourages you to continue painting, uh, and they're beautiful too. And uh, from this line, I have two other palettes uh, that are field palettes. I love field palettes. I love the I love the portability. It's not that I paint outside a lot, which is something that I plan to do. I have gone outside painting, but it's not like I can do it every day either because of re reasons that I mentioned before. Um, but I just love the portability and the fact that I will be able to take this with me. This is the Karakuri palette by Holbein. This one has eight colors. Uh, it's, it's gorgeous. The presentation is absolutely amazing. It comes with this um, palette in the back for mixing the colors. I haven't used this section yet. I have tried and tested the paints. There is a video on this channel about that, but look how cute this is, um, how portable it is. It does come with a brush that does not fit inside the box, but you can, if you can carry this, I'm pretty sure you can carry this brush. It's more like a makeup brush from my opinion. Um, it's not pointed, it's, it's round, but it's not pointed. So I'm not sure what you can do with this, um, but it's pretty good quality. It's not shedding, I've tested it a couple of times and it's, it's good. I can make petals with it. It, it gives me good results. Um, and the second palette I have from Holbein, which is, this is the first one I tried, and the first one that got me hooked on the brand, is called the Palm Box. And this one comes with these two mixing palettes that you can attach to the, here, you can attach to the, to the palette itself on the side and on the front like this. And you can mix your your colors there. It comes with a portable brush. This one is one of those that you just pull out. Uh, and this one brings 12 colors. It's called palm, palm, palm box because it feels it fits in the palm of your hand. So it's pretty portable too. Um, you can carry this in pretty much in pockets. Um, but like I said, it's only, this is eight colors, this is 12 colors. As a beginner, you still don't have the knowledge of mixing colors to get to the, um, the how do you say, the hue or the value or whatever you want. So I think it's a good idea, if you can, to have more colors uh, ready to be used. So I love the brand, I love the paints, I love the presentation and um, the quality. So this was my decision, uh, the reasons to get this one. Uh, when you open the box, this is the box. Um, whole binds are made in Japan. Um, and all I can say from what I've used them so far is of great quality. It comes with this um, card for you to swatch the colors, which has the color names there in case you run out of any of them. It comes with this uh, pamphlet, which has all their products that come in uh, half pens. And so this is the palm, palm box I just showed you. The character is not here. Uh, the one I'm about to show you is this one. I'm not sure how many this one has. This looks like it has more than these. Uh, yeah, this one is 48. So this one has more colors than, than these. But I didn't like the design. I haven't seen this one online either, not in the US at least. This one brings the porcelain palette. I believe it's porcelain, a brush. And this is, I think it's too big, too bulky. That's why it didn't get my attention, I guess. So, and then on this side, um, it does say here that 36 is like the maximum, but I guess that, um, I don't know, maybe this is an old pamphlet. Anyways, not that important. 
the thing is that I wanted to get more colors of the whole bind in case I don't want to mix. So I don't know how to mix to get a specific color that I need for a project. So the box is the same color as these, which is a blue, dark blue and white plastic. You can open it like this. And as you can see, gorgeous, it has a plastic pallet attached to it that you can remove and you can attach to the side here to mix your colors. I will have to remove the, um, let me see, I could probably touch it here too. Yeah, you can put it in the front right there. And you can mix your colors here. So these are the lovely colors and it also comes with a brush similar to the brush included in this package. Um, let me do a close up here or bring it closer. That's not a close up, it's to bring it closer. Um, so you can see the colors included. Let me tilt it like that. Okay, that's better. Um, yeah, so pretty good selection. There is a black um so if you're one of those that don't like palettes with black and white this is not the palette for you uh, but i don't understand why people don't like palettes with black and white uh, you can always take them out give them away and replace them with two other colors that you do like anyways um it's good it's good to have it it's i think it's complete for somebody who's starting and needs to test. Sometimes you prefer doing light with water instead of white. And instead of adding black, you like adding other um, dark colors too. So whatever whatever works for you, right? That's fine. But this is the palette, it's lovely. I'm going to unwrap these beauties and put them in the box. The, uh, they are supposed to have a, see this color I didn't have in any of my palettes, which is the opera, I think. No, this is the magenta. Where's the opera? The opera is right here. Uh, so I'm going to open one and see, I, they should have a magnet. My other Holbein palettes have a magnet that secures the pens and the palette. And I see like there's like a strip here. So I'm going to unwrap one and then I will, I will make a separate video. I don't like making extremely long videos. I will make a separate video with the swatches when I'm swatching these. Um, so you can see them in case you haven't seen them before. You can see all the colors included. So, yes, it has a magnet right here. These things come really well packed, very secure. And then, let's see. Yes, so it does have a strip, a magnetic strip there for you to, uh, for the paint to remain secure if you, in case you flip the, the box so i'm going to unwrap this and i'll make another video with the swatches for you to see it in case you like it thank you so much for your time thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about any of these three holbein palettes please don't hesitate to leave a, a question in the comment section uh, if you have any suggestions for me as well uh thank you so much for your time and god bless Bye bye